regular meeting. We'll begin with our salute to the flag. Please join me. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mike, are we? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So we begin with uh, my report, and I'll not take a lot of time, but first I'd like to welcome all of our staff members that we're going to recognize this evening and all of our students and their families. This is a, a very happy occasion. Uh, Ms. Weldon will be calling out your names and your principals and, and uh, staff members will be recognized. But this coming December is gonna be very, very busy for all of our schools. And we invite all families to attend many of the events that Ms. Weldon advertised in the memo. Events like our Spartan Parents in Learning, our carnivals, our winter chorus concerts in all of our schools, our Booster Club Pancake Breakfast, our Winter Wonderland and Holiday Shops. And so you think you can dance, which is at the high school, and that's always a lot of fun. All these events, again, were sent out in a memo that Ms. Weldon uh, put out for everybody. And also our teachers who have been recognized as Teacher of the Year and our Educational Service Professionals, they are also listed in the memo. So please come and enjoy the December fun in all of our schools. And that's my report. Now we have our student representative. Uh, Michael, would you care to inform everybody what's going on at the high school? Sure. Uh, so beginning at the elementary schools, the Wayside Winter Carnival is being held on December 2nd, and the Wanamasa Winter Wonderland is being held on December 9th, and both of those are great events for both the students and the parents. Then moving on to the middle school, Almost Anything Goes on last Wednesday was a great success for the middle school. That's one of the most fun events for the middle schoolers to go through. It's always a very interesting day, and it, it's good to see that it was another successful year. And they're also beginning auditions for their play, which is Mean Girls this year, which should be should be a funny one to see. And over at the high school, they're also they also began their auditions for also to play Mean Girls, which is it's cool that they matched up this year. Uh, the high school has also begun their winter sports. All the teams are working very hard to begin their seasons, and I, I know they're all excited to see what they can do this year. Right. The student council is holding a blood drive on December 4th, which is that's a very important event for the high school to hold. It's very blood is always needed in hospitals to save people's lives or just to keep them healthy. And that's it's good that our school is contributing to that. Uh, National Honor Society is holding a coat drive. And that's that's a very important event. Also, they're also doing hot chocolate grams, which is a good way to get students involved in the school and involved in their clubs. The Italian club is having a December on December 5th is holding a trip to New York City where they're going to be going to uh, they're going to see the tree in Rockefeller Center and then they're going to go to Italy, which is a great, oh. a great opportunity for people involved in that. And then they're also working with the junior class officers on chemo care packages for chemo patients at Mammoth Medical, which especially during the holiday season, that's just that's a great thing for the high school to be working on. And then the senior class has held, held a successful Friendsgiving bingo night and has an upcoming pajama party with hot cocoa and games. And Miss Hannah has committed to multiple other free senior activities for them, which is great. It's great to give the seniors so many fun things to do on their last year here. That's for sure. Excellent report. Thanks so much, Michael. Let's move to our superintendent's report. Ms. Weldon. Okay, good evening, everyone. It's so nice to see so many faces here this evening, and I'm very excited to be recognizing so many of our outstanding Spartans. I want to thank Michael for his great report, and in general, I'd like to thank our student body and our club advisors and coaches and teachers for all the things that they do in our schools. It really is so nice to see so many in-person activities, um, fun character building, team building, school spirit building events happening in all five of our schools this year. So so um, thank you so much for reporting on all of that, Michael. Okay, I'd like to start out by recognizing two of our current fifth grade students who competed in the New Jersey School Board Association Steam Tank Finals in Atlantic City this year on October 25th. They presented their product, Spray, 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 which they developed last year as fourth graders at Wanamassa Elementary School. 
With the help of their teachers and technology coaches, these bright students impress the state judges with their well-thought-out product, Spray, Spray, Spray. Not only was their product impressive and presentation engaging, but they handled themselves like champs during the intense question and answer session. I am pleased to introduce our NJ SBA Steam Tank winners, earning first place overall in the elementary division. And I'd like to introduce the teachers who helped them get there. Congratulations, girl, congratulations girls, please come up. Adriana Martino and Juliet Moriarty. <laughs> And staff members, Leanne Riley, Ryan Pringle, Jamie Doyle, and Alyssa Armiento, if you're here, please come on up. Everybody did an excellent job. Congratulations on all your hard work and your achievement. Parents, if you want to take a photo there. Yes, in front of the... Uh... Do you, if Karen, do you want to take a picture in front of the smart? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Yep, we can move that around there. Yep. Beautiful. Congratulations to all. Before you, I just I just want to put in a plug, girls, and tell you that the uh, free little bottle that you gave out in Atlantic City, I sprayed my chrysanthemums, and the deer did not eat them, so it worked. <laughs> Great job! Thank you very much. You saved them. <laughs> Okay, for the next recognition, the Ocean Township High School has been awarded the AP Honor Roll Award and the AP Access Award. None of this happens without the dedication and commitment of our AP teachers and our guiding team. Our AP teachers deliver rigorous instruction and help students with college level coursework all year long. Our guiding team works to ensure that all students have fair and inclusive educational opportunities. The guiding team's goal is to remove barriers and provide support to increase enrollment, retention, and success of underserved students in advanced honors and AP classes. This group of educators is directly responsible for our high school earning these two very prestigious recognitions. I am pleased to introduce the faculty members responsible for the Advanced Placement Honor Roll and the Advanced Placement Access Awards. Some are here in person, some are here on Zoom, and some could not be with us this evening, but please allow me to name all, all staff who participated and contributed to this. If you are here, I ask that when you hear your name, you come on up to the front. Bethany Danishgar, AP Calculus, AB teacher and a guiding team, a member of the guiding team. Kristen Molnar, who teaches AP Pre-Calculus. Mark Willems, who teaches AP Pre-Calculus. Mr. Frank Cole, who teaches AP Chemistry, my former physics teacher. Ms. Nicole Bolsonetti, AP Environmental Science. Mr. Teddy Curzizan, who teaches AP Music Theory. Ms. Valerie Dakotis, who teaches AP Art and Design Studio Arts. Mr. Alex Kepkis, who teaches AP Computer Science, AP Consider Computer Science Principles, and AP Statistics. Ms. Leslie Odell White, who teaches AP Psychology and AP Biology. Ms. Kirsten Churchwell, who teaches AP English Language. Mr. John Terleski, who teaches AP English Literature. Ms. Sarah Lessman, who teaches AP European History. Ms. Kristen Semerano, who teaches AP US History II. Ms. Mr. Alexander Lynch, who teaches AP Macro, AP Micro, and is a guiding team teacher. Mr. Dean Athens, who teaches AP Human Geography. Mr. Max Sabinski, who teaches AP Calculus AB. Mr. David Bucko, who teaches AP Physics One. Dr. Gara, who teaches AP Physics Two. Ms. Cara Tavar, who teaches AP Spanish. And the supervisors and administrators who help support their programs, Mrs. Gina Hagerman, Mr. Greg Cologne, Mr. Ian Schwartz, Mr. Patrick Sullivan, Ms. Aaron Leahy, and Ms. Cecilia Villa. Cecilia Villa, if you're here, please come forward.
to be that big one. And the, few more names. The additional members of our guiding team, Mrs. Dawn Kazuba, who will be presented her certificate by board president, Mr. Anthony D. Pasquale, Ms. Valerie Source, Ms. Lauren Kelly, who's a member of the guiding team from the Township of Ocean Intermediate School, Ms. Allison Connolly, Ms. Ann Hanley at the high school, Mr. Jeremy Lapari from the high school, Ms. Michelle Cartaya, guiding team teacher at the Intermediate School, Ms. Donna Emmerich from the high school, Ms. Rose Griffin from the high school, Ms. Katie McConnell from the high school, Mr. Timothy Patterson from the high school, supervisor, Mr. Stekon, and parents, member of our team, parent, Ms. Batia Van Nostrand. Thank you very much to all who helped made this possible for our Ocean Township High School. Good. You want to go over here? Come on, everybody. Yeah, the whole team. I didn't see that. That's the car can. Yeah, I know. That's the car Yeah. But I can different. It looks almost like a It's a nice material, but it's a shape of a car. You know, you're going to have to get closer together, I think. Two layers. Congratulations. Great job. Okay. And for our final recognition this evening, one of our Ocean Township Intermediate School teachers received the Elementary Technology and Engineering Teacher of the Year Award from the New Jersey Technology and Engineering Educators Association. The Elementary Excellence Award was presented at the association's annual conference held at Rutgers University on October 27th. I am pleased to introduce this year's NJTEEA Engineering Educator of the Year, Ms. Megan Edson. Woo! Congratulations on this well-deserved accomplishment. Congratulations. Congratulations to all and thank you for being here this evening. This is the part of the meeting where if you would like to step out, you certainly can, or you can join us for the rest of the meeting. But once again, congratulations to all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, to no one has I'm so sorry. It can be to an audience. Sure. So, 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 excuse me. Just, there's going to be a public comment section in just a minute, and then that's exactly when you can do it. I forgot we discussed that. Oh, we need that. Mike, can we get the podium back for the public comment? Just going to be one more minute. I know. I had to apologize. Go to the chat. Thank you, Mike. Congratulations to all, and now we move to our school business administrators report, Mr. Hasty. I have nothing additional from what we discussed in the workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much. Public comment. At this point in the meeting, we will conduct the first of two public comment sessions. The first session open to the public comments for agenda items only. The second session will be at the end of the meeting and can be on any topic. 
Would anyone from the public like to comment on an agenda item at this time? Yes, certainly, if you'll go to the microphone. And just state your name for and us. address and all that. Okay. Yes. I think I think that's the drill. Okay. Uh, Chris Moriarty, uh, 1107 Bendermere Avenue, Ocean Township. Uh, and thank you for board members. And thank you, uh, Ms. Weldon, uh, to your staff, your secretary, for granting the opportunity. We just want to say thank you from our family um, to everybody up here and all the teachers. Um, just a quick note, um, specifically, um, to Mr. Pringle, Sir Doyle, Ms. Riley, Ms. Ruland, uh, Ms. Armimento, Arm, Armiento, uh, Mr. Milano, Mr. Bosmans, and all this, the staff uh, that Juliet and uh, Adriana are now with, with the middle school. So I was uh, raised by an English teacher and I married one. So I'm gonna start off with a hook, uh, as a <laughs> quote. Um, just, and I'll be quick, this is gonna take two minutes. Um, so we come to realize that we bear responsibility for every child because we're counting on everybody else to look at after hours, that we are all parents, that they're all our children. This is our first task, taking care of our children. It's our job. If we don't get that right, we don't get anything right. That's how as a society we will be judged. Uh, that comes from our former president, uh, Barack Obama. And I listened to that as I was in, um, the NICU at Riverview Hospital, holding the finger of uh, Juliet, um, five days after she was born, as the president was addressing the families of Newtown. Um, it was a kind of surreal moment. Uh, like I said, married to an educator, I was raised by an educator, come from a family of public servants, and to become a parent at that time, and to see that, um, it was just very moving. And it kind of put forward what it means to be part of a loving community. And a year prior to that, we moved to Ocean because of the schools, because we wanted to be part of this community, because we believed in all the people up here, all the teachers that you su support. Um, there's the absolute embodiment of that um, in the individuals that I named before, and the entire um, Wanamasa community, staff, personnel in that building. They created a welcoming environment that lets our children grow. And it was so incredibly evident during the steam tank process. The teaching, the nurturing, the development and guidance uh, allowed for the independence of Juliet and Adriana, their confidence and their tremendous self-worth. <clears throat> this has been an ongoing journey from kindergarten to and through now. And based on all the awards that were given to the high school and uh, the rest of the middle school, it's incredibly encouraging for them to continue their journey. Um, this is just a community of teachers and staff devoted and committed to the happiness and well-being and success of our children. I want to thank them for their sacrifices of time and energy away from their own families and children. Um, again, I we know what that is as a family of educators, the extra hours um, and the absolute sacrifice of their families um, to support them in their careers and their building up of our future and our children. I just ask that this board and this community continue to support our teachers and staff as they answer the call to service and caring for our most precious gifts, our children. Thank you. Thank you for nice. those wonderful comments. And that beautiful quote by former President Barack Obama. Thank you so much. Is there anyone else in the queue or in the auditorium who would like to make a public comment? on an agenda item. Ms. Conway? Madam President, there are no commenters in the queue. Thank you very much. <clears throat> if anyone else would like to exit before we go to our action <laughs> items, <laughs> you're welcome to do so now. And thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. We move to our action items. <clears throat> approval of minutes. Mr. Weinstein. Yes, I'd like to approve minutes from uh, November 14th. Um, can I get a second? Second. It's for approval of minutes 5.1, 
Dr. Beal? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Mr. McCarthy? Ms. McGovern? Yes. Mrs. Carlamas? Yes. Mrs. Tortorella? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. Ms. Gilman? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you very much. We move to personnel. Ms. Carlamas? Thank you, Mrs. Gilman. I have 10 motions this evening. I'd like to make a motion to move items 6.1 through 6.10. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Hastings? So all items 6.1 to 6.10. Dr. Beal? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Ms. McGovern? Yes. Ms. Parlamas? Yes. Ms. Tortorello? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. Mrs. Gilman? Yes. All items carry. Thank you. Financial Management and Resource Services. Ms. Hayes? Move to approve 7.1 to 7.11. All items 7 1 to 7 11. Mm -hmm. I had one question. Okay. Um, on the bills, sorry, I didn't ask this earlier. I think it's 7.3 <clears throat> rather than 7.1. Um, the Connor Strong, that is our current insurance company. Yes, that's one of our brokers. And is that um, a contract that we are sticking with through the end of the year? Like, is yes. what we're paying for like part of our yearly contract? Yes, ma'am. And when does it expire? I believe it expires the end of next year. I believe it was a three-year agreement with the uh, firm. <clears throat> okay. You may so, call the vote. So all items 7-1 through 7-11, Dr. Beal? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes to all except for I recuse myself for anything related to my employer on 7.3. Thank you. Ms. McGovern? Yes. Ms. Parlamas? Yes. Ms. Tortorello? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Um, yes to all except for 7.10. I'll recuse myself due to my affiliation with Monmouth University. Thank you. Ms. Skillman? Yes. All items carry. Thank you. Instruction, education, and student activities, Dr. Beal. Move to affirm 8.1 and 8.5. Move to approve 8.2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8. Second. So all items 8.1 through 8.8. .8. Dr. Beal? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Um, Ah uh, yes. Thank you. Ms. McGovern? Yes. Ms. Parlamas? Yes. Mrs. Tortorello? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Um, yes to all except for 8.4. I'll recuse myself due to my affiliation with Monmouth University. Thank you. Ms. Gilman? Yes. All items carry. Thank you. For policy, Dr. Beal? Move to approve 9.1 and 9.2. Second. <laughs> Both items 9 1 and 9 2, Dr. Beal? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Ms. McGovern? Yes. Ms. Parlamas? Yes. Ms. Tortorello? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. Uh, Ms. Skilman? I'm sorry, did you, did you call my name? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Weinstein was so enthusiastic. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, the answer is yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair. Public relations we did in our work session. Old business. Is there any old business that we didn't discuss already? Yes. We discussed old business upstairs. This is new. Yeah. Yes. This is new old business. Yes. Um, I forgot to mention when we were talking about the facilities in uh, 7.4, same thing as last meeting. There are obvious dates that overlap and the same usage of Wayside Gym. So have they made arrangements to not there's three sports that all have the same dates for Wayside. Yeah, so we ask that those um, applicants work out those dates so that uh, everybody gets a share of, of the space and uh, you know there's equitable treatment of, of the various groups to access. Okay, thank you. Any other old business? Okay, we move to new business. 
in your business. Okay. Then we go to our closing items, our second public comment. Would anyone from the public like to comment on any item at this time? How about in the queue? Ms. Conway? Madam President, there are no commenters. Wow. Thank you very much. And I guess I'll make a motion to adjourn our meeting. Second. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>